to down 45 videos from 10 channels aimed at spreading hatred among religious communities. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar takes a dig at the United States over the decision to send F-16s package to Pakistan, says U.S. is enabling Pakistan to entertain to resist counter-terrorism ops. With 10 state elections and the big 2024 election inside, JP Nadda likely to get an extension to continue as BJP president for two more years. 20-year-old ponytail girl who went viral for participating in Iran's anti-hijab protest is shot dead. Meanwhile, in India, pro-hijab stir now spreads to, Karnat to Kerala. India Today confronts Bollywood actor Jacqueline in court. Actor evades questions on her link to conman Sukesh. Bollywood diva has been granted interim bail. Jacqueline is looking for it too. Weak global queues take Dalal Street to their lowest level in two months. Sensex Nifty lose over a percentage each. Rupee weakens to an all-time low of 81 rupees and 65 paise to the dollar. All eyes now on RBI's rate decision. Apple starts manufacturing iPhone 14 in India in Foxconn's plant located near Chennai. The tech giant wants to move 25% of its entire iPhone production line to India by 2025. And a deadly school shooting in a Russian city leaves six killed, 20 injured after a gunman opens fire. Shooter later kills himself. But the big story comes from Rajasthan, where the Congress is finding itself in a major crisis. Now, sources telling India today, close to Ashok Gelot, we are not rebelling against Sonia Gandhi and the Gandhi family. Sources close to Gelot saying, Gelot is still happy to move to Delhi as Congress president, but importantly, the choice of Rajasthan Chief Minister must be left to the MLAs. Sources telling India today that Gelot is expected to meet the Gandhis in the next 48 to 72 hours to try and resolve the issue. So clearly Ashok Gelot trying to emerge conciliatory towards the Congress leadership. Joining me now is Preeti Chaudhary who's been tracking all of this in Jaipur. Uh, Preeti, it appears that the two camps have very clear views. Sachin Pilot is banking on the Gandhis to topple Ashok Gelot in a way or move him out of Jaipur and replace him with Pilot. The Gelot camp, on the other hand, seems to believe that Ashok Gelot can be both Congress president and get his person in power in Jaipur. So, which way is this heading? Well, you know, in the last 24 hours or the last, uh, you know, uh, since last evening, Rajiv, if I'm to look at it, if till late last night, you and I were discussing and, uh, you know, we were talking about the fact that uh, the Jadugar, the magician from Rajasthan has pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Uh, by the evening today, there is a sense in the political circles in Rajasthan, in Jaipur, that uh, the magician might have overplayed his hand. Why I say that is, uh, Rajdeep, there is a sense of urgency where the Gelot camp is concerned, that it conveys to the media, it conveys uh, especially to the Congress that, hey, this is not a fight between the Congress, High Command Thank and Gelot. Uh, it is very well just a fight or it is about keeping Sachin Pilot out who the MLAs feel were the ones, uh, you know, uh, two years ago he stitched together a rebellion with the BJP and why award him right now? But, you know, we can see that now. Let's see about an hour ago, Shanti Dhariwal held a press conference where his main focus of that press conference was to constantly reiterate that we have nothing against Sonia Gandhi. This is not about the high command. So while there is a sense of urgency to downplay uh, the conflict which is uh, being seen or perceived as Gelot versus the high command, on the other hand, the Sachin camp would want us to believe and would want to play up this conflict. Because for Sachin, it works better if it's seen as a fight not between Sachin and Gelot, but a fight between uh, Ashok Gelot and right. directly the high command here. Okay, very quickly though, is the sense that you get, Preeti, that... Uh, the uh, that Ashok uh, the Ashok Gelot camp will not accept Sachin Pilot come what may. Well, you know, um, yes and no. Why I say that right now is it's in a very precarious position, Rajdeep. We've been speaking to a lot of MLAs who put pen to paper last night at CP Joshi's residence. Uh, while at this evening news started to circulate that the Congress High Command is extremely miffed at Ashok Gelot. 
uh, for what went down yesterday. Um, they are now making an attempt to reach out and make it clear that, listen, we have nothing against Gaylord. Uh, we didn't want to put pen to paper. Uh, we actually will go exactly with what the high command says and a lot of uh, MLAs are actually coming out and saying it post this, uh, you know, post about 4 p.m. In the morning, there was a lull. But now, you know, once again, uh, there is a sense of some of these MLAs at least gravitating back, maybe not to Sachin uh, pilot as yet, but to the party win. We'll wait and see how this plays out. Fast changing development. Remember, lots is happening in Delhi too and we'll go to that. Kamal Nath has met Sonia Gandhi. Will he play the role of peacemaker, the former Madhya Pradesh chief minister? But joining me now is someone who did, in a way, is seen now to have le led the Gaylord camp uh, against Sachin Pilot. Pratap Singh Khachriyawas is Rajasthan's minister, close to uh, Ashok uh, Gelot. Khachriyawas ji, ye bataiye, kya hum maane ki kahi na kahi, ye aap chaate hai ki koi bhi mukhya mantri bane Rajasthan ka, but Sachin Pilot kisi bhi halat mein aap tayyar nahi hai. Kya ye Gelot banam Sachin Pilot hai, ya Gelot banam Gandhi family? Na to ye Gelot banam Gandhi family hai, क्योंकि गांधी फैमिली के सबसे बड़े लॉयलिस्ट अशोक गहलोत जी हैं सोनिया गांधी जी की बात पर जो व्यक्ति अपनी जान दे सकता हो उसके लिए इस तरह की बात करना बहुत गलत है कल भी वो बहुत नाराज हुए एमएलएच के एक्शन को लेकर जब वो नाराज हुए तो धारीवाल जी ने उनसे कहा कि आप ही ने कहा था जब कैंप चला एक महीने तक लोगों ने बगावत कर दी मानेसर चले गए थे तब इन्होंने बड़ा मार्मिक भाषण दिया गहलोत साहब ने कहा कि ये कैंप सोनिया गांधी जी का कैंप है ये कांग्रेस का कैंप है और इस कैंप में रणदीप सुरजेवाला जी वेणुगोपाल जी अजय माकन जी सब बैठे हुए हैं कांग्रेस इधर है आज मुझे तुम्हारी जरूरत है तुम्हारे ऊपर कोई संकट आएगा तो मैं अभिभावक के रूप में तुम्हारा काम करूंगा सारे एमएलए जिनके साथ खड़े रहकर बीजेपी के षडयंत्र का जवाब दिया आपको याद होगा राजदीप जी तब गवर्नर साहब ने मिलने का टाइम नहीं दिया हमें हम लोग जब गवर्नर हाउस गए तो गवर्नर हाउस में घुसने नहीं दिया विधानसभा को भंग करने की तैयारी हो गई थी और वहाँ हमको धरना देना पड़ा अशोक गहलोत जी खुद जमीन पर बैठे रहे उस दिन मैंने हालत देखी कि हमारे लिए नाश्ता पुलिस को अंदर नहीं लाने दिया गया गवर्नर हाउस में गवर्नर साहब नाराज हो गए तो आपको हमने वो दौर भी देखा है ये लड़ाई मेरे एक बात समझ में नहीं आ रही देश में राहुल गांधी जी हमारे नेता उनकी पद चल रही है भारत जोड़ो यात्रा और इस वक्त जिस तरह से अचानक जल्दीबाजी में ये सब किया गया तो आपको मीटिंग बुलानी है बुलाइए ना कौन मना कर रहा है सोनिया गांधी जी के आह्वान पर हम अपनी जान दे सकते हैं तो कुर्सी है हाई कमांड का फैसला तोड़ना हो गया सोनिया गांधी जी का कोई डिसीजन होगा तो वो अशोक गहलोत जी को बुलाकर कह देगी एमएलए भी क्या हम सोनिया गांधी जी को पूरा देश का कांग्रेस का कार्यकर्ता अपनी बात आह्वान पर अपनी जान देने को सब ठीक है हमें जो जानकारी मिली की सोनिया गांधी जी का फैसला था और अजय माकन ने ये आप सब सभी को कहा कि वो चाहती है कि एक लाइन रेजोल्यूशन हो कि कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष डिसाइड करेगी कि कौन बनेगा अगला मुख्यमंत्री अशोक गहलोत जी दिल्ली आएंगे कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष और सचिन पायलट का नाम आगे है कि उनको उनकी जगह रखा जाएगा और आप लोग इस बात को नहीं माने तो आप यहां कह रहे हैं कि सोनिया गांधी जो भी कहे हम उसे मानेंगे सच्चाई है कि जब सचिन पायलट का नाम आगे आने लगा आपने उसका विरोध किया यह सच्चाई है राजदीप जी मैं आपको फिर कह रहा हूँ आप मेरे बारे में पता चल कर लेना माकन साहब खड़गे साहब से मिलने जब तनुट माता जी के यहाँ से आए मैं खुद उनसे मिलने गया माकन साहब से मेरी बात हुई उन्होंने कहीं नहीं कहा कि उन्होंने इनका नाम आगे किया है पायलट साहब का नाम ऐसा कोई आदेश हमारे पास नहीं आया विधायक दल की मीटिंग रात को डेढ़ बजे मेरे पास महेश जोशी जी का फोन आया मुख्य सचेतक है आप उनसे बात कर लेना मैंने कहा रात को डेढ़ बजे आप मुझे फोन कर रहे हो कल सात बजे कौन वहाँ मुख्यमंत्री के यहाँ पे विधायक दल की मीटिंग है कि मैंने कहा कल तनोट माता जी के यहाँ जाएंगे मैं भी जाऊँगा मुख्यमंत्री जी के साथ डोटासरा जी भी जाएंगे क्या कर रहे हो आप बोले यार अचानक वहाँ से कॉल आया दिल्ली से मीटिंग रखनी है मैंने कहा रख लो भाई जब मीटिंग तय होगी तो हम तो जाने वाले थे मुख्यमंत्री निवास एम एल गए वहाँ पर धारीवाल जी के यहाँ कि भाई मुख्यमंत्री निवास में आप मीटिंग करवा रहे हो आप मुख्यमंत्री जी से बात करो ये क्या तरीका है और वहाँ अफवाह ये फैल गई कि मुख्यमंत्री इस्तीफा देंगे नया मुख्यमंत्री चुना जाएगा नया मुख्यमंत्री उन लोगों में से चुना जाएगा जो 19 लोग सरकार गिराने में लगे हुए थे आप मुझे बताइए बहुमत से फैसला होता है एक तरफ 102 विधायक है एक तरफ 19 लोग हैं जो सरकार गिरा रहे थे डेढ़ महीने तक हम होटल में पड़े रहे पूरी मेहनत की पूरी बीजेपी से लड़े उनमें से मुख्यमंत्री बनेगा तो मुख्यमंत्री का फैसला दो साल पहले सचिन पायलट ने बगावत की थी अब हम दो में है आज की तारीख में अगर सोनिया गांधी आपसे कहे खाचरियावास जी 
आप और बाकी विधायक सचिन पायलट को मुख्यमंत्री बनने दीजिए आप मानेंगे या नहीं मानेंगे राजदीप जी एक बात सुन लीजिए सोनिया गांधी जी के आदेश पर हम अपनी जान भी दे देंगे सोनिया गांधी जी ने हमें ऐसी कोई बात नहीं कही है जिस दिन कहेगी उस दिन आपको पता चलेगा कभी भी प्रेस पर मीडिया पर इस तरह की बातें मेरे एक बात एक तो मुझे आप राजदीप जी आप तो बहुत सीनियर है मैं आपका बहुत सम्मान करता हूँ मैं आपको बहुत बरसों से देख रहा हूँ आपका अपना एक सम्मान है लोग आप पर भरोसा करते हैं आखिर ऐसा क्या हो गया कि पूरा देश का मीडिया एक नाम के पीछे पड़ा है और वो ये तक बोलने को तैयार नहीं है कि सो एम तो ये चाहते हैं कि ये नहीं बने और उन्नीस एम चाहते हैं ये बने तो क्या आप डेमोक्रेसी को बचाने के लिए भी देश का मीडिया बोलेगा क्या देश में वोट से राज बनता है जवाब नहीं दे रहे आप मेरे सवाल का सीधा जवाब दीजिए अगर सोनिया गांधी जवाब देना सम्मान जरूर करता हूँ लेकिन जवाब देने के लिए मैं बाध्य नहीं हूँ सोनिया गांधी जी जिस दिन हमसे सवाल करेगी उस दिन वो हमारी मां के समान है हम उनके उनके हर आदेश की पालना करेंगे लेकिन ये मैं मीडिया में आपके दबाव में आकर बोलूं मेरा ऐसा नेचर नहीं है राजदीप जी मैं आपको ये समझा रहा हूं सर मैं आप, आप आगे पूछ लीजिए कोई पूछ नहीं मैं आपसे एक बार फिर पूछूंगा अगर सोनिया गांधी अगर कांग्रेस ने तय किया है अशोक गहलोत पूछिए ना अगर अगर आपको ये ये आपका मैं सम्मान करता हूं आपका बड़ा नाम है आप पार्टी बन के मत पूछिए मैं इतना साफ से चाहता हूं नहीं मैं ये आपसे पूछ रहा हूं कि अगर कांग्रेस हाई कमांड चाहती है कि अशोक गहलोत दिल्ली आ जाए कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष बन जाए कांग्रेस नेशनल प्रेसिडेंट क्या आपको लगता है आपको लगता है ये अच्छी बात है और उनकी जगह कौन होना चाहिए आप मुझे बताइए आज किस व्यक्ति को आप चाहते हैं कि अगर अशोक गहलोत दिल्ली आते बिल्कुल ठीक कहा अशोक गहलोत अशोक गहलोत जी राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष बनते हैं हमारे लिए खुशी की बात है वो लीडर हैं एक अशोक गहलोत बनने में 50 वर्ष लगते हैं तीन बार सीएम रहे तीन बार प्रदेश अध्यक्ष केंद्रीय मंत्री रहे 50 वर्ष में एक अशोक गहलोत बनता है बहुत धीर गंभीर अच्छे व्यक्ति हैं कांग्रेस को फायदा होगा हालांकि वो चाहते थे राहुल गांधी जी अध्यक्ष बने जब राहुल गांधी जी ने मना कर दिया कहा नहीं आप यदि वो बनते हैं तो फायदा होगा ये बात सुन लीजिए फिर मुख्यमंत्री कौन बने ये तो एम में तय होगा ना जहाँ बहुमत होगा ज़्यादा एम चाहेंगे हाईकमांड उनसे पूछेगा ये हाईकमांड करता है या पिछली बार अशोक गहलोत जी भी ऐसे ही बने थे ज्यादा एम ने उनका नाम लिया वो बन गए जब एम की राय होगी तो वो कल देख लिया आपने एम 102 जिन्होंने बगावत नहीं की जो सोनिया गांधी जी के कैंप में बैठे थे सरकार बचानो बचाने के लिए उनकी सबकी डिमांड है उनमें से कोई एक बनना चाहिए एक में से कोई बन जाए और मान लीजिए फिर भी कोई राय होगी तो एम एल एज की और हाईकमांड की राय से फैसला होगा मैं आज टीवी पे बोल दूं किसी का नाम अच्छा लगता है कोई नहीं तो ये आप कह रहे हैं तो आप कह रहे हैं जब राय बनेगी तब तो आप बड़ी बात कह रहे हैं खचियाबाद जी आप बड़ी बात कह रहे हैं आप कह रहे हैं जो भी दिल्ली से आया उन्होंने पहले एम की राय लेनी चाहिए थी उसके बाद सीएलपी मीटिंग बुलानी चाहिए थी क्या ये सही है पहले एम से बात करें एम तय करेंगे कौन अगला मुख्यमंत्री बनेगा राजस्थान का क्या ये सही है सीएलपी की मीटिंग बुलाना हाई कमांड का हक है हाई कमांड जब भी सीएलपी की मीटिंग बुलाएगा सभी एम एल उसमें जाएंगे कल एम ने अपने परिवार में अपनी नाराजगी व्यक्त की जो एम एल डेढ़ डेढ़ महीने तक सोनिया गांधी जी के आदेश पर कांग्रेस के आदेश पर अशोक गहलोत जी के आदेश पर उनके साथ खड़े होकर सरकार बचा रहे थे यदि कल उन्होंने नाराजगी व्यक्त की तो एक परिवार का मामला है ये प्रभारी का उनका काम है एम को राजी रखना सुनना समझना यदि उन्होंने इस्तीफा दिया तो एक परिवार का मामला है अपने लोगों में नाराजगी होती तो बैठकर बात करके निपटाया जाएगा ये कह दिया जाए कि कल तक वो एम सड़कों पर भी हम ही लड़ते हैं हम ही दिल्ली जाते हैं हम ही जयपुर में लड़ते हैं हम ही खून बांटते हैं हम ही गिरफ्तारी देते हैं यदि अपने परिवार में एम एल ये कह रहे हैं कि जिसके साथ ज्यादा एम उसको बना दीजिए किसी को भी तो उसमें कोई गुनाह तोड़ ना कर रही तो डेमोक्रेसी है लेकिन मेरा आखिरी सवाल आपको मैं आज कह रहा हूँ मैनेजमेंट का और मीडिया का क्रिएशन है जिसके पास वोट होते है ना उनको इतनी माथा फोड़ी करने की जरूरत नहीं होती यदि कल विधायक दल की मीटिंग थी वहां बीस ही अठारह उन्नीस बीस एम एल ए पहुंचे क्यों भाई इतना बड़ा रिएक्शन हो गया एम ने इस्तीफा दे दिया और अब मुख्यमंत्री अशोक गहलोत जी के घर पे मीटिंग थी गहलोत साहब वहीं बैठे थे बुला लेते ना गहलोत साहब ने हमको भेजा लाने के लिए हमको मेरे को डोटासरा जी को धारीवाल जी को डोटासरा स्टेट प्रेसिडेंट है संयम लोडा को महेश जोशी को हमारी बात नहीं सुनी एम ने 
क्या आप वही लोग हैं ना जो कल तक सरकार बचाने के लिए हमसे बड़ी बड़ी बातें कर रहे थे टैग ऑफ वार इतना हुआ इतना झगड़ा हुआ उन्हीं एमएलए में से किसी को हमें क्यों ले जाना चाहते हो आधे लोग जा चुके थे अब वो नवरात्रा के बाद जब आएंगे मीटिंग होगी जैसा हाईकमांड कहेगा सोनिया जी कहेगी राहुल जी कहेंगे वैसा हो जाएगा अशोक गहलोत जी कहेंगे वैसा मान लेंगे लेकिन ये बात मैं फिर कह रहा हूं डेमोक्रेसी में विधायकों की राय से विधायकों की संख्या से नेता का फैसला होना चाहिए मेरा आखिरी सवाल क्या अजय माकर ने कहा यह बगावत है ये इनडिसिप्लिन है आप कैसे देखते हैं इस वॉज इट इनडिसिप्लिन कि आप लोग वहां पहुंचे नहीं अशोक गहलोत के साथ सीएलपी मीटिंग नहीं हो पाई क्या आप मानते हैं कि यह बगावत है माकन साहब डेढ़ महीने तक जब सरकार बचा रहे थे तब हमारे साथ होटल में थे और वो जानते हैं कि इनडिसिप्लिन किसने किया बगावत किसने की माकन साहब हमारे परिवार के मुखिया हैं हमारे नेता हैं हमारे बड़े भाई हैं वो कुछ भी कह सकते हैं मैं उनका खंडन नहीं करूंगा लेकिन वो इस बात को भी जानते हैं कल उन्हीं के साथ हम खाना खा रहे थे उन्हीं के साथ बैठे थे मैं खुद पहले उनसे मिलने गया उन्हीं के कहने से दारीवाल जी को बुलाने गया एम ने वापस नहीं और वापस उनकी बात कराई फोन पर माकन साहब क्यों कह रहे हैं क्या कारण है माकन साहब को आप उनका हक है मेरे से सीनियर लीडर है मैं उनके लिए कुछ नहीं कहूंगा उसके बाद धारीवाल जी ने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस कर ली है आप उनकी प्रेस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस देख लीजिए धारीवाल जी मेरे से सीनियर लीडर हैं उन्होंने पूरी बात कह दी है सच्चाई सामने आ जाएगी काशियाबाद जी आपने आज बड़ी बात कही है कि नवरात्र तक रुकिए जो भी होगा आप नवरात्र के बाद होगा एक तरह से वेट एंड वॉच पर आप रूल आउट नहीं कर रहे कि अशोक गहलोत अभी दिल्ली आ सकते हैं और कोई अन्य व्यक्ति मुख्यमंत्री बन सकता है लेकिन एमएलए का चॉइस होगा खाचिया जी आपने बहुत बड़ी बात कही है यू हैव गिवन अस सम बिग न्यूज पॉइंट्स आई अप्रिशिएट यूर जॉइनिंग अस फॉर दोज हू नीड अ ट्रांसलेशन इफेक्टिवली व्हाट मिस्टर खाचिया इज सेइंग एमएलएज विल डिसाइड हु बिकम्स द नेक्स्ट चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ राजस्थान दे विल नॉट गो विथ सचिन पायलट बिकॉज दे होल्ड मिस्टर पायलट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द रिबेलियन अगेंस्ट मिस्टर गहलोत टू ईयर्स अगो ना ऑल ऑफ दिस इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स where the party high command has found itself embarrassed in a way by the failure to get its way in Rajasthan now a detailed report has been sought from the central congress observers ajay makan and malikarjun kharge but is the damage control enough and what does it mean for the gandhi family take a look congress adhyaksha ne hamare se ek likhit report pure ghatna kram ke upar mangi hai और वो लिखित रिपोर्ट आज रात या कल सुबह तक के हम कांग्रेस अध्यक्षा को दे देंगे हिट बाय अ फायर स्टॉम इन राजस्थान द कांग्रेस हाई कमांड इज बाइंग टाइम अजय माकन एंड मल्लिकार्जुन खारगे दी ऑब्जर्वर्स सेंट बाय द पार्टी टू जयपुर रिटर्न एम टी हैंडेड ऑन मंडे इमर्जिंग फ्रॉम देर मीटिंग विद कांग्रेस प्रेजिडेंट सोनिया गांधी इन द इवनिंग माकन गेव हिज रिस्पॉन्स टू ईच ऑफ द डिमांड मेड बाय द रेबल्स इन राजस्थान Demand one: Decision must be taken only after the Congress president is elected. ये कैसे संभव है कि वो व्यक्ति जो resolution move कर रहे हैं कि सारे अधिकार Congress अध्यक्ष को दिए जाएं, वो व्यक्ति Congress अध्यक्ष का चुनाव लड़ना चाहते हैं और 19 अक्टूबर को अगर चुनाव जीत जाते हैं तो उसके बाद वो खुद फैसला करेंगे, तो ये conflict of interest नहीं है तो क्या? है? Demand number two. No one-on-one -on -one meetings with MLAs should be held. Meeting should be with all MLAs sitting together. कभी भी ऐसा कांग्रेस में नहीं होता है कि विधायक दल की मीटिंग के अंदर समूह में बात करी जाए, सब विधायकों से अलग-अलग बात करी जाती है ताकि सब लोग फ्री एंड फेयर तरीके से अपनी बात को कह सकें. And demand number three: the chief minister should be from the 102 MLAs who stayed with Gehlot. During the 2020 rebellion by Sachin Pilot. वो भी फैसला होगा आप लोगों की बात को स्पष्ट तरीके से कांग्रेस अध्यक्षा के सामने रखा जाएगा Markin made it clear the MLAs had committed an act of indiscipline by skipping the legislature party meet on Sunday evening. Secretary General in charge पे मेरा charge है कि वो पक्षपात पूर्ण तरीके से यहाँ के यहाँ के विधायकों से बात कर रहे थे डिप्टी चीफ मिनिस्टर होते हुए और प्रदेश कांग्रेस के अध्यक्ष होते हुए आज उनको चीफ मिनिस्टर बनाने के लिए यहाँ पर सेक्रेटरी सेक्रेटरी जनरल इंचार्ज आ गए द डे सॉ द हाई कमांड गेट इन टू अडल विद्यू की लीडर्स 
the Gandhi's trusted aide, K.C. Venugopal, General Secretary in charge of the organization, rushed in from Kerala with a message from Rahul Gandhi, who continued with his Bharat Jodo Yatra. Veteran leader Kamal Nath also flew into Delhi. The two main players, Ashok Gehlot and Sachin Pilot, stayed back in Jaipur, both not giving up an inch. The rebellion in Rajasthan Congress has put the party high command, meaning the Gandhi family, in a serious fix. It now has to consider the fate of the chief minister and also decide upon a person they can trust for the post of the party's national president. But the big question that still remains is whether it will crack the whip on Ashok Ghilot or swallow its pride and let him continue for the time being. With camera person Manish Devankur Vadhavan in Jaipur for India Today. So are the Gandhis losing control of the Congress? Has the high command culture in a way been challenged by Mr. Gelot and his supporters? Is Gelot fighting his last political battle in a way? Joining me now is Rahul Srivastava, our National Affairs Editor. Sanjay Jhao, who should be supered as suspended Congress leader. More than anything else, he remains a congressman at heart, he says. Rashid Kidwai is author and political commentator, wrote a book, 24 Akbar Road, on the Congress. And Shehzad Punawala is the BJP spokesperson, was once with the Congress. So all four, uh, three of you at least have a solid Congress connection. Let's turn to you, Mr. Jha, first, because there will be those at the moment who will say that in the Congress, what we are seeing is one self-goal after the other, that has only suggested how weak and some would say inept the Congress leadership has become that you can't even enforce your writ on Jaipur. How do you respond? Well, you know, you know, Rajdeep, when you have remained fossilized for a long period of time, you can't suddenly bloom like a flower. It takes time. And clearly the Congress is at the moment, you know, bitten several bullets at the same time. You have a Bharat Joro Yatra that is occupying a lot of resources of the party in terms of time and investment of people. Plus you have the presidential elections happening and then you have the Himachal and Gujarat, very critical elections in my opinion. So I do believe that somewhere down the line, the entire Rajasthan episode basically is once again a very, shall we say, harsh reminder of the fact that the Congress party is today paying a price for several years of complete uh, atrophy and lethargy. You know, the writing on the wall on Rajasthan was known long time ago. You know, the battle between um, both Mr. Pilot and uh, and where Mr. Gelot is concerned has been brewing since the very time that Mr. Gelot became chief minister for the third time. And I think that is the reason why the Congress today is having, you know, its cup of woes overflowing. But going forward, I do believe that end of day, the Congress has an opportunity, a historic opportunity, because I remain an eternal optimist, Rajdeep, that as darker gets the night, it emits a brighter ray. So if the Congress today has to really bite the bullet, they should do so now. And the one way to do that will be to send out a message that anybody playing an internal rebellion within the party needs to be shown the door. It no, doesn't no, matter. Are you say, no, no, Sanjay Jha, like uh, Sanjay Jha, are you serious? You believe that the Congress should show a door to Ashok Gelot? and bring in Sachin uh, Pilot in a way as chief minister, even though the majority of the MLAs that you just heard don't want Pilot. They say Mr. Pilot is a TV neta. You know, you've written what? columns, for example, saying make Sachin Pilot and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra as the, as the faces of the Congress. The MLAs are very different. Please, you know, sometimes Rajdeep. we seem to, you seem to actually believe that Sachin Pilot is the one who should be the chief minister and you're saying Ashok Gelot should be shown the door. Is that what you're saying? I do believe that Mr. Gelot, after what has transpired in Rajasthan, does not deserve to be the Congress president. Let me say so with full responsibility on your program. And I say so despite knowing many people within the Congress who will agree with me and not say so publicly. But I do hope the Congress does not allow him to get away scot-free. As far as Sachin is concerned, Rajdeep, you are a veteran. You know it. Power is a glue not just in the Congress and every political party. Now, between 2017, uh, you know, till the elections, when, uh, when Sachin played an instrumental role in the Congress comeback, I can tell you this, Mr. Gelot, when he got the green signal from the high command to be a chief minister, you know, everybody who was an MLA, 
and Sachin worked very hard to get the party back, they flocked to him. You make Mr. You make Sachin pilot the chief minister, they will go to him within two weeks' time. They will sing a different tune. You saw that in Punjab, the moment Navjot Singh Sidhu and Charan Singh Chani came, nobody was backing Amrinder Singh, despite Amrinder Singh being chief minister for five years. Okay. That's unfortunately the, the political morality of our times. So the truth is that today, all those who are saying Mr. Gelot, because for four years he's been the chief minister, he's used his powers to, you know, obviously distribute goodies all over the place. So there is no loyalty. I don't think it's got anything to do with principles. Sachin deserves to be the chief minister. And right. let me share something else with you on your show. Sachin was assured by the Congress High Command in 2017 that he would be made chief minister within a year or a year and a half. So I mean, there are a lot of issues behind the scenes. And I do believe that today, if elections are held under Mr. Gelot's leadership, Shahzad Punawala's party will romp home because there is a need for a change of leadership. Sachin is the man of the moment for the Congress party. But this okay. indiscipline of Mr. Gelot, I don't think the Congress should ignore it. Shahzad Punawala, you want to respond? It's being posited as indiscipline of Mr. Gelot. You heard Mr. Khachriya was saying, look, the high command cannot impose its will on MLAs. Is the, how do you see this? Is this a challenge to the Congress high command or really the, the, the emergence of a democracy within the Congress where even MLAs are saying we will decide who our chief minister is? We are only missing your Neta Nagri anchor Saurabh on the show, but we have all the elements of that. And let me begin with the Sahir Ludhyanvi Pankti. Mm. Kabhi khud pe, kabhi halat pe rona aya, baat nikli to har ek baat par rona aya. Rajdi, first of all, let me tell you as a BJP spokesperson, I have no business to comment on what is the internal affairs of the Congress. But the reason why we are here is because we are troubled that this government, which was born in the womb of instability, has continued to push the state of Rajasthan into political instability and has taken it down the path of complete chaos, whether it's the rising rapes, rising riots, or the policy of appeasement, or the other things that are going wrong within Rajasthan. And their only focus is on Satta Bachao, not on Rajasthan Bachao in that sense. Now, coming to the point that you're answering, there are three clear messages, Rajdeep, from the things that we have seen and including hearing Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha, I think it was a slip of tongue when he says that now Mr. Ghello should be prevented at any cost from becoming the president of the party. How is this a democratic election that was taking place? Look, if you look at it objectively, Mr. Gehloth has tried to do what is best for the party in his opinion in Rajasthan. So if anything, he has been loyal to the party, perhaps not to the family. And by this logic, because he's not loyal to the family, he should not be contesting the so-called election. Let me tell you, Rajdeep, what exactly this was. This was never an election to begin with. This was about the Parivar imposing their remote control as an adhyaksh. The remote control who was supposed to be the remote control took out the batteries in Jaipur and the remote control wanted his remote control to be put as the uh, chief minister of Rajasthan. So this is all a fight of remote control going out of control. Jaipur ka remote control cha rahe the ye rashtriya adhyaksh bane. Rashtriya adhyaksh ke chakkar mein inhone Jaipur ka battery nikal diya. This is the point. You know, it's very interesting you're saying all this about remote control on a day when the reports are coming in that J.P. Nadda. I knew you'd bring leader. it up. No, no, I'll bring it in. J.P. Nadda. J.P. Nadda is likely to be selected for another term. So when the BJP Rajdeep. selects a party president, that's democracy. Hmm. That two and a half people in your party select the president, that's democracy. Rajdeep. But when the Congress high command decides to choose Sachin Pilot as the leader, you suddenly say, oh, this family is anti-democratic. Come on. Rajdeep, it's happening. Now, let, What's the answer? difference? Yes, can please I, do. And I hope you won't interrupt me. First of all, let's address these source-based news which was reflected on Aaj Tak India today. Uh, when there is an election year, as you must have seen in the last election cycle and Rahul Srivastava is sitting here, the term of the president of the Bharati Janata Party is for three years. But when you go into an election cycle like 2019 or 2024, you can't have a membership drive. In that time, the national executive and the parliamentary board, if they decide to extend the tenure of the president so that it can continue to the election, and then after that, the, inter the election process begins. So that doesn't mean Mr. Nadda has been selected, appointed, re-elected. That is not the case. Are and you these serious are all, that Mr. These are all Nadda was forces. elected? Are you serious yes. that Mr. Nadda was elected or Rajdeep, selected by Amit Shah and Narendra Modi? Rajdeep, Let's be honest. Rajdeep, can I answer? You yes. know, I've uh, got a... You, do you believe in Aaj Tak's reportage at least, if not me? 
Here is Aztec's reporter Navneet Mishra, who's written a very detailed piece about how elections are conducted in the BJP under Article 19 when an electoral college is elected from the booth, mandal, stall, right up to the district and to the Pradesh level, and then that entire data is sent to the election commission. Elections are held. And in fact, in the last 24 who years, who chooses the BJP president? The people of BJP, who the electoral college of the BJP chooses. Okay. If there is a unanimous election, however, then there might be one candidate. So it's obvious that. So like, you're there saying is there's no selection, president. there's election, but but so one second. Now let me come to. Uh, yes. Because a couple of times you uh, interrupted me. Let me come to the main point that I want to make. There are three clear signals from what has happened the last 24 hours. One, that this was a farce of an election and I must use this platform to give my condolences to Shashi Tharoor who still believes this is an election. Two, the limited political credibility and capital that Gandhi's had even amongst their darbaris is now at a rock bottom. Perhaps it's gone extinct even while the cheetahs are back. And three, Look at this kind of exercise that is being done and it is being done because this is the policy that Gandhi family has been using for a very long time. Let me just explain to you. Punjab, they made factions fight. Chhattisgarh, they made factions fight. Karnataka, DKS versus Siddharamaya. You see the same thing in Maharashtra. You see the same thing from Gujarat in Hardik versus Bharat Singh Solanki. Hardik has obviously come out. In Madhya Pradesh, Kamal Nath versus Jyotiraditya Ji. Jyotiraditya Ji came out. In Assam, uh, Mr. Gogoi and Hemanta Biswa Sarma Ji. Hemanta Biswa Ji came out. This is because the Congress party's first family has so little capital that the only way it could stay in power is divide and rule. And now this same policy has come to finish them in that sense politically, like, even in Rajasthan. You are making an interesting observation about the way the Congress has, in a way, it's got a it, Kabila wala party. Okay, it's got it wrong in several states, lots of self goals. Let's put out some of those. The self goals and the people behind those self goals. Remember Punjab, it started last year, where just a few months before the elections, the Congress decided Amrinder Singh had to go. Guess what, what they did? They brought in Charanjit Singh Channi. There you had the people who are being accused to be in charge, the change of guard who is being responsible for the mess in Rajasthan, KC Venugopal, MP from uh, 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 Rajasthan, he is actually from Kerala, he is the Congress Secretary Organization, Malik Arjun Kharge, 80 years old, told me this morning, he flew in urgently from Gulbarga to attend the CLP at the last moment. Ajay Makan, who is from Delhi, who was there in charge of General Secretary, they couldn't get their act together. Punjab, as I said, lost the assembly polls, KC Venugopal, Harish Rawat, Harish Chaudhary, they suddenly changed the chief minister of Rajasthan, uh, of Punjab, Amrinder Singh, got that wrong as well. Goa, 8 out of 11 MLAs have joined the BJP, KC Venugopal is again organizational chief, Dinesh Gundu Rao is the state in charge, he tried his best Mr. Gundu Rao, but was not good enough. But we'll put all the various self goals they've scored and Rashid Kidwai, when we can put all those self goals, and some of those also were mentioned by Shehzad, Assam, Hemanto Biswas Sarma versus Tarun Gogoi, Jagan Mohan Reddy leaving the Congress in Andhra Pradesh is another one I'll, uh, I'll put in there. Is there something wrong with this party and the way it manages politics now, particularly the Gandhis? Absolutely, Radeep. When a party is not winning, when you uh, lose so many elections, this is the political authority of, uh, of of the leadership gets undermined, and the Congress, in this sense, has not been an exception. But what do you say to this calculated act of perfidy uh, when uh, a CLP meeting is called by the uh, 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 by the leader of the Congress Legislative Party? The MLAs tend to speak at another forum, but they don't come to the CLP where they could have had the same views and uh, you know given shown the same kind of number games. And this goes. This is unprecedented. This no, has not happened in the history of Congress Party. I am asking you these errors after errors, these lack of accountability, there seems to be a lack of accountability from Punjab to Rajasthan to Assam to Andhra Pradesh, in every state where the Congress you gets can it go wrong, on. who's accountable? Yeah, we, can go, we can go on blaming the Gandhis till the cows come home. This is, I am, but what I am saying is, it's at multiple you know, layers. Look at the inept handling of the all those managers, party managers you are uh, saying. Look at the act of, you see the Congress have been saying, unlike 1977 or 69 or uh, 1996, the Congress has not seen any major split. It is an assembly of people who are happy to be unhappy. And therefore, they keep playing games. And of course, when we talk about Gandhi, the style of functioning of Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi is always, is not always very consistent. So, they, they sometimes they work at various. In this case, a, perhaps a case was there to issue a show cause notice. Whereas Sonia Gandhi seems to be making an effort 
to bring Ashok Gehlot uh, home or give him a chance. So all these things are there. So once something goes wrong in a political party, you you know it's not a this thing of a single factor. There are number of factors that are at play. Okay, you know that you are saying there are number of factors. Is it therefore, Rahul Srivastava, that the political managers are missing? There's no Ahmed Patel-like figure. Instead, you've got people like K.C. Venugopal, who is clueless about the Hindi heartland. I mean, here is someone from Kerala, say, one-time MP, put in charge of Congress uh, General Secretary organization. Ashok Gelot, why should he listen to a K.C. Venugopal? Yes, Rajdeep. I think, I think the crisis is multi-layered. It's like an onion which you start peeling and you find that there are so many crises. The, the first issue which we have talk, been talking about, why did the Congress actually eventually initially pick Ashok Gehlot to be the presidential candidate? Ashok Gehlot has a wonderful uh, CV. If you look at it, he was uh, the first rally, one of the first rallies after the emergency was lifted in 1977, Indira Gandhi's rally. Uh, one of the organizers was Ashok Gehlot. Rajiv Gandhi's election agent, uh, Amethi for the first time, Ashok Gehlot. Uh, 1971 war, uh, a Sharnarthi camp in charge, Ashok Gehlot. So Ashok Gehlot has been there, done it. But I think the most qualifying element was trust. And that one trust element was helping him to become the president of the Congress party. But he wanted in a show of strength, tell the Congress high command that I want Rajasthan to be given to somebody who I want to. So he virtually created the specter of a split by forcing MLAs to go into a party, creating a, some kind of a resignation drama in which resignations are not taken on a signature campaign like a signature campaign. Your MLA has to sign on a proper format. Most of the MLAs I have spoken to say they were made to sign on a piece of paper. Now, all this has been orchestrated to push the high command, the same high command which was actually taking Ashok Gehlot to the Kohinoor of the Congress party, the Congress president's post. And that is why what one will say, it's not just a lack of managers. I think it's multiple crises within the Congress party which is playing out. I think the authority of the top brass uh, is, has gone down. Also, the regional satraps are not fighting for uh, for tomorrow. They are living on today. And that is why if you see the records of, uh, like a lot of people are saying, congressmen are saying, mm -hmm. that Ashok Gehlot did not know what, uh, about what was happening. Razdeep, you check the, if somebody checks the call records of 11 to 12 MLAs who actually reached the CM's residence yesterday evening, it will be easy to find who was calling them and telling them not to go inside the CM's house, but to go to Mr. Dhariwal's house. A lot has transpired in the Congress party in Rajasthan. And I think that one line resolution which has to be passed, that we authorize the Congress president to decide the fate of Congress in Rajasthan. If the Congress is not uh, able to enforce that in the coming days, I think the Congress's top brass's authority will never be the same again. You know, you're, you're saying that because we are getting breaking news that Kamal Nath has been, in a way, asked to try and broker a peace with Ashok Gehlot. When I spoke to him today, I asked him, would you be an alternative to uh, Ashok Gehlot as Congress President? He said, I don't want to be Congress President. So you actually have a situation, Sanjay Jha, no one wants to be Congress President. I mean, imagine this is a post which has been seen over the years as the mightiest post in the Congress. Now, Kamal Nath, Ashok Gehlot, Bupinder Singh Hudda, all of them prefer to be in their states rather than even become Congress President. What does it say about the way the party is? The Gandhis don't want to take it over. Rahul Gandhi is doing a yatra. Sonia Gandhi is, a, you know, has been struggling with her health. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra suffered a big defeat in Uttar Pradesh. So there is a vacuum. You don't have leadership. You don't have political managers. How are you going? You know, this is not going to get resolved in a hurry. Uh, Rajdeep, a very uh, pertinent question. But, uh, you know, factually, there is... Uh, Sashi Tharoor is definitely putting his hat in the ring. Uh, and there are many aspirants, by the way. And I can tell you this, despite the fact that many people have uh, left the Congress party for the BJP and other, other players, the truth is the party is not short on talent. And, and you know, I, I can cough up names. I don't want to do that. But let me make two quick points here. That the damaging narrative for the Congress created by this entire 
Rajasthan gridlock, if I can use that charitable term, somebody needs to be held responsible for this. You see, the Congress under the under Rahul in particular over the last couple of years has had a situation of so much of lethargy and you know you know atrophy that people haven't been quick in taking decisions. Now I'll give you an example. Any leader who does an internal revolt and is doing so. I think it when a matter so blatant, if there are no consequences for it, you are actually going to make the entire party's uh, workers, those who actually are the true loyalists of the party, feel so demoralized. You can't just lionize Ashok Gehlot as as Rahul mentioned about his great CV. His history, you're over. That that great CV has got no relevance today. All Mr. Gehlot stands for is that today he's embarrassed the Congress Party. When Rahul, no, and no matter how much you know, very serious flack Rahul Gandhi has taken, even his worst critics will have to admit that he is doing something fairly extraordinary in the Bharat Jodo Yatra. And I think this is the time for the Congress to really crack the whip, and it can be done. And okay. I'll give you an example, and I, I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, Sachin Pilot, if he is not becoming the Chief Minister of Gujarat, of, of Rajasthan, he should be putting his candidature for the role of the Congress president. You know, it is time that the Congress put all his best talent in play. And one quick point for Mr. Punawala, because he keeps taking these, you know, very C-grade Bollywood dialogue jibes of the Congress. So I need to tell him because he's not aware. But the great Mr. Narendra Modi and his cabinet, Shahzad, made PPT presentations to the RSS biggies in Nagpur. So please do not ever talk about family and remote control. You okay. have no moral right to even make a singular observation on the Congress party. Yeah, Pipe down. You can uh, that you have your remote control lies in Nagpur. Right. There's may lie at ten Janpat. Your remote control lies mm -hmm. in the Prime Minister's office. There's Rajdeep, may lie with the Congress President's Rajdeep, office. Rajdeep, every second day you are doing a story as to how Narendra Modi has emerged outside the RSS and the RSS ki bhi nahi sunte and then there is a story that we go and report to the RSS. Just like there is civil society consultation and you have been a big advocate of it. Is RSS not an important civil society organization? And the NAC, which could be given the constitutional recognition, is okay. But if we tell or consult with various civil society groups, we are at fault. But anyways, that's not the issue today. And I don't want to get sidetracked because yes. some can be suspended in logic, some can be suspended in party position. So which one out Very of funny. those two? We leave it to the panelists. But let me tell you the two structural issues that persist in the Congress. One, the Congress is no longer a party. Party. It is a Kabila. It is a private limited company. Why is Mr. Ashok Gehlot or anybody else doesn't have the attraction for the position of the Congress president? Because under Mahatma Gandhi's time, it was a party that functioned on certain principles and certain ethics and certain policies. Today, it is Pad above party. It is Satta above Janta. It is Neta above Niti. And finally, it is Parivar above performance. And therefore, nobody wants to become a captain of a sinking ship. Secondly, let me tell you what is the structural issue in the Congress. The Congress has become unacceptable for any person outside the Gandhi domain unless he promises that I will remove my spinal cord and I will stand in front of you. Look at what Congress has done to every non-Gandhi leader of some stature and especially regional leaders. They have completely forced them out of the party. Even the last leader that they had in the form of Gulam Nabi Azad or now Mr. Ashok Gehloth is being forced out of this party because the Parivar which has no political capital, it can't even win its own bastion in Amethi, has to find a seat in Wayanad, is trying to impose its writ on these people. And by the way, if this is democracy, why aren't you listening to your leaders in the in Rajasthan Assembly? Secondly, what if the election nomination has not been filed by Ashok Gehloth, before that you're having a CLP? How did you know what would be the outcome of the so-called election, sir? These are all the telltale signs that this is not a party it is a one family entity okay. and let us stop kidding ourselves that this is any kind of political party this Either. is a parivarik firm nobody okay. wants to head it because if you don't have the gandhi Vardha title you count for nothing okay shehzad punawala is on a roll remember shehzad punawala was once in the congress and it, i often say those who have moved from one party to the other often tend to be even more aggressive about their original party and mr punawala may well be an example of that let me just let me just explain that with sahir ludhianvi's lines ek bar fir sahir ludhianvi last two lines of his chaliye kar dijiye kaun ro kaun hota hai jo aur kisi ke khatir rota hai dost sabko apni hi kisi baat pe rona aaya so this is 
a question of Congress Party not realizing what has gone wrong. I said it Chari. five years ago. I wish they would have understood. They would have not been in the situation there. You are giving my friend Rahul Shivastav, who is the original shire here, a lot of competition by quoting Sahir Lodhianvi. I don't know how Sahir will respond to what you've said, but I shire to nahi. For now, Congress needs more than just poetry. It actually needs to work in prose and get its act together, particularly in Rajasthan. Another make or break moment that the Congress has faced in recent times. Thanks very much to all my guests for joining me on that. Let me turn from there to the other story that we've been tracking. Ankita Bhandari, who was murdered by ex-BJP ex leader's son in Uttarakhand. She was cremated yesterday amidst protests. A family is questioning the method of investigation in the case and asking why the resort was bulldozed when evidence was still being collected. What's the latest? Take a look. Uttarakhand simmers. Anger over the brutal murder of 19-year-old Ankita Bhandari is rising in the hill state. The special investigation team and forensic experts visited the resort owned by accused Pulkit Arya, where Ankita worked, incidentally three days after civic authorities had already demolished parts of the building. Ankita's last rites were performed by her family amid roadblocks, widespread protests and heavy police deployment. Her mother claims that the cremation was done hastily and she wasn't allowed to see the body. Ankita's father questioned why the resort, including Ankita's room, which might hold crucial evidence, was bulldozed. और जो वनंतर रिजॉर्ट जो तोड़ा गया उसके किसके सहमति किससे तोड़ा गया क्योंकि जिस कमरे में मेरी लड़की रहती थी वो उसमें कोई सबूत ना सबूत रहा होगा अंकिता's family members aren't the only ones to raise doubts Congress leader Harish Rawat who visited the family fired three questions at the Pushkarthami government चार दिन लगे उसकी गिरफ्तारी में थे और छह दिन लगे उस लड़की की बॉडी को रिकवर पुलिस रिमांड अभी तक नहीं लिया गया है हत्यारों को जुडिशल कस्टडी में है और ऐसी समय में कई तरीके के सवाल उठे हैं जिनमें एक सवाल इस बात का भी है कि ये बुलडोज क्यों चीफ मिनिस्टर धामी हैज शॉर्ट ट्रायल इन अ फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट टू इंश्योर स्पीडी जस्टिस हम माननीय उच्च न्यायालय से भी अनुरोध करेंगे कि जल्दी से जल्दी इसमें फास्ट ट्रैक के लिए एक अलग से कोई अदालत गठित की जाए या अदालत में ऐसी व्यवस्था की जाए जिससे कि हमारी उत्तराखंड की बेटी को हमारी बेटी को जल्दी से जल्दी न्याय मिले और जो गुनागार हैं जो दोषी हैं अपराधी हैं उनको इसकी कड़ी सजा मिले The police have slapped a series of charges on crime accused Pulkit Arya, who is the son of the former BJP minister, under sections of the IPC that deal with murder and tampering of evidence. Arya is also booked under the Gangsters Act. We have many evidences that we have. The biggest evidence, I believe, is that the police had a theory from the interrogation. उन्होंने कहा हम घूमने गए थे वापिस आ रहे थे तो झगड़ा हुआ झगड़े होने के बाद हमने इसको नहर में गंगा जी की नहर में धकेल दिया तो उसी एरिया से बॉडी हमारी रिकवर हो गई तो ये एक बहुत बड़ा एविडेंस है ठीक है दूसरा ये है कि हमारे पास सीसीटीवी फुटेज ही हैं जहाँ पे वो चार लोग दिख रहे हैं ठीक है एक साथ दो एक मोटरसाइकिल और एक स्कूटी पे ये एक बहुत बड़ा एविडेंस है People of Uttarakhand are up in arms, demanding justice for Ankita. Will the government ensure speedy justice as it had promised? With Arvind Ojha and Ankit Sharma, Indra Shikesh, Bureau Report, India Today.
tragic death of Ankita. Let's take a break. On the other side, we'll bring you our good news today's story. It comes from Rajasthan, from Jodhpur, Ashok Gelot's hometown. But it's not about the chief minister. We'll tell you more. You're watching the news today. News without the noise. Notice something new. You've started using a new body lotion. Funny. I'm so sorry for the delay. I was on another call. It just kept going on. Uh, no, Papa. You have been a steam bath. A steam bath? At home? Two, two steam bath he takes. <laughs> Go to your homework. Hey, I noticed something new. You started using a new body lotion. Funny. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Welcome back. Rajasthan seems to be the flavor of the day because our good news today story also comes from Rajasthan. Meet Anuradha Arora, a self-trained coffee artist from Jodhpur, draws flowers, trees, hills on coffee. That's right, she does it using chocolate sauce, edible colors and toothpick. Call it good news or only in India. It's our special report at the end of the show. You stay well, stay safe. Good night. Jai Hind. Happy Navratra. Bye for now. paintings on white plain canvas to beautiful pictures on brown coffee frost. There is no boundary for art. A beautiful rose with a good morning message on your coffee can make your day. Anuradha Arora, a coffee artist from Jodhpur, can draw anything on coffee frost. Flowers, trees, hills and even portraits. She does it using chocolate sauce, edible colors and toothpick. Start me kuch return matter likh deti thi happy birthday ya wishes ya kuch is, uh, just normal outline draw aise bana diya karti thi par jab jaise jaise practice shuru ho gaya us pe kuch portrait banane start kiye. Main portrait artist hu to maine bhi कॉफी के ऊपर कुछ पोर्ट्रेट बनाने के लिए ट्राई किया और बनते बनते कॉफी पे पोर्ट्रेट भी बनने लगे कुछ ऑर्डर्स भी आने लगे काफी लोग कॉफी के ऊपर पोर्ट्रेट बनवाने के लिए एज एज एन ऑर्डर और वीडियोस बनवाने के लिए आने लगे इट वाज ड्यूरिंग लॉकडाउन दैट शी स्टार्टेड टू पेंट ऑन कॉफी विद रेगुलर प्रैक्टिस शी बिकेम एन एक्सपर्ट ये जो लॉकडाउन पीरियड था उसमें मैंने कॉफी पे आर्ट बनाने की प्रैक्टिस स्टार्ट करी 
प्रॉपर लॉकडाउन में बहुत सारा टाइम मिल गया था सब लोग बिल्कुल फ्री थे और मैंने भी फ्री टाइम के अंदर कॉफ़ी पे कुछ पेंटिंग प्रेजेंट करने की कोशिश करी और बनते बनते कुछ आर्ट स्पेशल निकल ही आई others realize their artistic talents anuradha has now started classes for painting sketching portraits and coffee painting free of cost bureau report india today So sorry for the delay. I was on another call. It just kept going on. Uh, no, Papa. You are in a steam bath. Steam bath at home. Do do see party cakes. Go do your homework. Ta na na di 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 ta na di ta na. Everyone's busy finding what's trending. You're busy finding out why. India Today for those who research before reacting. Download the India Today app now. Make your media plans smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices.